Pancake, the cheetah cub, needed a lifetime companion after her mother wasn't able to raise her. We chose Deo, a Rhodesian Ridgeback, specifically for several reasons. Rhodesian Ridgebacks are one of the few large breeds that have the exact lifespan of a cheetah. They also get about the same size, 80 to 100 pounds, just like a cheetah. So they'll be a good matchup physically as adults. Born on the same day as Pancake, Deo was the perfect match on paper. But would they get along in real life? I was very nervous because, of course, Pancake, our little baby, our little princess. So we all kind of held our breath and just threw them together. And it was basically love at first sight. They instantly started playing and cuddling, and Pancake was following him around like a little shadow. Literally what his name means is Joy Arrives, which it did for Pancake on the day he got here. Between six and seven weeks is the strongest, most imprinting time for bonding. And so I think because we were able to get them together at that point, they literally believe that they're like from the same litter. While domesticated cats have learned to put up with humans, cheetahs are wild and instinctively shy. So dogs make helpful companions because cheetahs model their happy-go-lucky behavior, and this puts them at ease in captivity. Today, it's clear that these two pals have bonded, and Pancake can hold her own against rambunctious Deo. Kittens like to wrestle and play. Even though I'm with Pancake 24-7, she still needs more of a litter mate companion, just for socializing skills, um, wrestling, playing. After their morning romp, it's time for these unlikely friends to go to work. When Pancake and Deo turn six months old, which is only less than two weeks away, it's kind of making me sad, <laughs> they will start living full time at Wildlife Safari. Their companionship's gonna be really, really critical and important at that point. Bye. 